got the Butterfly Drop, the Karina, the Bahama Butterfly, the Manny, and the Bradley Butterfly. Bradley, that is a lot. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Yes, the setting is a little bit different today. I know you guys are used to seeing us vlogging on the go, out and about, but it's the summer and who doesn't love a good summer cocktail? So I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite cocktails today, summer cocktails using my absolute favorite vodka from Butterfly Spirits. It is their elderberry vodka. I absolutely love this vodka, you guys. It has a really, really smooth finish. Um, it has a hint of elderberry, which I'm a huge fan of elderberry. It's just good. It's smooth. Another fun fact, I'm the girl that like one drink and I have a hangover the next day or I have a headache. I can drink this and feel absolutely amazing the next day. It goes so good with just about anything. It's all natural, it's gluten free, there's no added sugar. So you know, I don't necessarily feel as bad when I'm drinking it, not that drinking is healthy anyways. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite ways to incorporate this with some summer inspired cocktails today. But I also want to say before I get started on this video and show you guys these little drinks that I make that one, I'm in no way, shape, or form a barista. Is that how you say it? Barista? Batista? I'm not the person that makes the drinks at the bar. So these are just things that I like, that I've tried out. Um, I have some of my favorite drink mixers here. I have a shaker <laughs> and I have room, not salt, sugar because I think summer and I think sugar and just beach and breathe. We're gonna have some fun here. I'm gonna make you guys some really good drinks. Second thing is, if you are under 21, please wait until you're 21 to drink. So this video is for my adults, for the 21 and over crowd, you guys. And for those of you who are consuming alcohol or who are gonna try and try some of these drinks at home, please, please, please drink responsibly always. Please be sure not to operate any motor vehicles while you are under the influence, you guys. Please be safe, no drinking and driving. Let's get to these cocktails. Okay, so the first drink that we're gonna make today is actually one of my favorites, a lemon drop. And I have found that the hint of elderberry that is in this literally just sets it off. So you guys, I have my lemon drop mixer here. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. So I'm gonna start out by adding some ice to my shaker, just a few pieces because you don't want the drink watered down, but still want it to get a nice mix and be nice and refreshing. So I'm gonna start out by adding one and a half ounces of the Butterfly Spirits Elderberry Vodka along with three ounces of the lemon drop. Go ahead and give that a nice shake. Now nobody likes to be boring, so of course I'm gonna add my own little twist to it. So I like to go ahead and add a splash of pineapple juice as well to my lemon drops. I feel like it just sets it off. Like I said, who doesn't love a cute rim? So of course we're gonna put a sugar rim on this bad boy. I even made some super cute garnishes for these drinks. Hold on, let me grab them. Got my garnishes. Just some fruit I cut up and put on some sticks to make them look cute. Go ahead. I'm gonna take this lemon, rim salt. Keep saying rim salt, our rim sugar. I'm gonna give it a nice little dip, twirl it around, just so you have a nice sugar around the rim. Go ahead. I'm gonna place some ice in my cup. Typically, you would put this in a martini glass, but again, you guys, I think this is cute. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my lemon drop martini into here. Look at that, the perfect amount. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish it. I'm just gonna put a lemon on there. And there we have it, you guys. Super easy, a summer favorite, a favorite of mine. We have a lemon drop martini with a splash of pineapple juice. Let's call this the butterfly, the butterfly drop, is that cute? We'll call this one the butterfly drop. Cheers. Mm, you guys, it is so good. This is definitely on a scale of one to 10, a 10. Okay, so I finished, you guys, the butterfly drop, super easy as you saw. So this next one is fairly on the simple side and I already have a name for it because it's actually my mom's favorite drink. I personally don't care for it too much because I like some flavor to it. 
But here we go. We're gonna call this one the Karina because that's my mom's name. So this one you don't even need a mixer for, honestly, because it's so simple. We're gonna get some eggs. One and a half ounces. We're going to take our elderberry botanical liqueur. Now, let me tell you guys about this. So one thing that I really like about the botanical liqueur is that it's a lower alcohol alternative. So, you know, if you still want something that has a little bit of a kick, but maybe isn't as strong, this is it, you guys. It tastes so delicious. It has hints of rose, it has hints of lavender, it has hints of lemongrass, and look at this color. It is literally so beautiful. Bottle, everything. This is just so pretty. I wanted to just let it sit on my bar forever, but I gotta put it to good use. So we're gonna go ahead and get this and we're going to add one, two ounces of the botanical liqueur, which also I might add is all natural, gluten-free and has no added sugar. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our, oh, don't fizz on me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get some of our tonic water. We're gonna go ahead and pour it right there on top, you guys. And I don't know if you noticed, but look at how pretty the coloring is on this, you guys. It has like a light hint of purple to it, super pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put some garnishes on this because I'm like, the drink's already boring, so let's make it cute at least, right? I went ahead and threw a little garnish on it. I threw a grapefruit slice and I put a little grape with flour on it just to kind of set it off, make it cute. Because again, this is summer, guys. We want all the drinks to be cute, but super, super easy. The elderberry vodka, the botanical liqueur, and some tonic water, you guys. Super easy, super refreshing. I feel like this would be something that I would get if I was like on a beach and I was like super, super thirsty and I needed something to quench my thirst because I kind of got like that that refreshing feel after I took a sip. It's actually not bad, mom, you might be on something there. What should I do next? I'm gonna make something beachy, island, breezy. Let's make what I like to call a Bahama butterfly. So for this one, we're going to take a little bit of our watermelon juice and I just grabbed a Simply Lemonade one for the sake of time today, but I do like to use my juicer and actually take fresh watermelon and juice that and allow that to be the base for my drink. I just feel like it's so much fresher, it's definitely healthier, because I'm sure this has some sugar added in it. But so, for the Bahama Butterfly, you're gonna take a little bit of watermelon. You're gonna take some pineapple. You're gonna add in an ounce and a half of your elderberry vodka. And I'm actually even gonna throw in an extra ounce. Shake Oh, look who it is. It's Bradford. Hi, baby. I might have to have you jump in here and make something up. You gonna make me a drink? Think you can be a mixologist here? I'm making- I'm more than me. It's so good. I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take a splash of this. We're gonna go ahead and garnish it with, when I think pineapple, I think tropical. So we're gonna put this little garnish on it. And there we have it, you guys. That is the Bahama Butterfly. It was the watermelon juice, the pineapple, the elderberry vodka with a splash of this blue raspberry cocktail mix. Super, super beachy, island vibes. This makes me wanna be on a beach in the Bahamas. Mm. Taste this, doesn't this give you like Bahamas vibes? Not bad. So good. Pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna see if my husband has a little mixology deep down inside of him too and see if he can make us a good drink. So let's see, you got your elderberry vodka, you got your botanical liqueur, and you got your mixtures right there. Let's see what you can whip up. It's a shaker clean for you. Ice. Let's see what you can whip up. This is the botanical liqueur. So it's still a liquor, but it's like a lower alternative to alcohol. It has a lower al alcohol count, but it's really good. Okay. Now my husband is definitely the heavy pourer out of the two of us, so he's probably not even gonna measure like what I tell you. <laughs> Bradley, that is a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna mix up here some watermelon juice. I'll get your glass cute and ready for you. If it's my drink, I want a sugar ring on it. Let me drop this up and I'm cool, man. Look, he's working, working. We got him squeezing fresh lemons. This drink better be good. You know, you're acting like you know what you're doing. Oh, look, this would be like a little metal lemon in there for fancy. But please make sure it's on all the way. <laughs> What's the name of this fancy drink? The tonic the water. <laughs> oh, it's pink. That's perfect for me. The Manny. Okay. This is the Manny, guys. It was, what was it? Watermelon. Can't give you my recipe. We can't have your recipe? But what if the people want to make it? 
Hopefully they were paying attention. He's being stingy, guys. I guess you're gonna have to scroll back and see what was in the manual, but this better be good. It actually is, taste it. That's not bad at all. It kind of gives me like a little lemon drop vibe. Okay, you might be onto something there. Look at you. That was really good. Better than, your drink. Better than my drink. Okay, well, let me make one more. This is gonna be called the Bradley Butterfly. Excuse me, moi. So we're gonna put, and then we're gonna go ahead and add an ounce and a half of our botanical liqueur. Bradley, don't pour any more in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some fresh mint leaves in there with it. I'm gonna add some of my blue raspberry mix. So Brad's favorite color is blue, which is why it's the Bradley butterfly. And get that there and garnish it with a lemon and a fresh mint leaf. The Bradley butterfly. Watch, wow, he's gonna automatically be a hater because he wants to win. It the for me. Well, what do you think? Not bad. He said it's not better than his, but it's good. You're really such a hater. Hate so let's go down to the list again really quick. We have, oh, you didn't try this. This was the butterfly drop. So it's basically a lemon drop, but the butterfly drop. Not enough alcohol. Oh my goodness. I like to enjoy my drink. I got the butterfly drop, the Karina, the Bahama butterfly, the Manny, and the Bradley butterfly. I think mine definitely take presentation, hands down, on all of them. I, first of all, I helped you with your presentation. You wouldn't have even had a rim or a garnish if it wasn't for me. I was just going keep it nice and simple. You guys let us know in the comments who won with the presentation. Let us know what drinks you guys tried. So you guys, also Butterfly Spirits has a special discount code for you guys. It is Butterfly5. Make sure you guys use that at checkout or online. If you guys are buying anything, you guys, their elderberry vodka is amazing. Their botanical liqueur is amazing. They also have canned vodka sodas that are super, super good. I love them. And if you guys are a DMV local, yes, this brand is based out of the DMV. They are based out of Bethesda, Maryland. If you guys go into any of the liquor stores in Bethesda or in Montgomery County as a whole, you guys can go online and fill out a rebate form to receive your discount that way. I still think my drinks are better than yours. Yours is good, but actually we have a fresh 21 year old in here. So let's get her opinion on this. Come here, oh, Paige, can we borrow you for a second? Good. Yeah, because I'm not gonna tell you who made what drinks, but you have five drinks here in front of you. I'll tell you the names of them and I just want you to try them and let us know which one you think is best. So you pick which one you wanna try first. That is the butterfly drop. How's that? It's good. Okay. Not too sweet, fresh. Okay. That is the Karina, named after mom. This is my sister, you guys, by the way. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be strong then. Strong and kind of boring. Strong. That's mom, isn't it? Yeah. Totally, totally mom. That's right. <laughs> this is the Bahama Butterfly. Mm. You don't like that one? I don't like that. Okay. This is the Manny. Too <laughs> She almost cut us. She said it's too strong. Too strong. Okay, strong. The last one is the Bradley yeah. Butterfly. I like this one. You like that one? Okay. This so, one's my favorite. So this is your favorite. What would take second place? This one. What would take third place? This one. What would take fourth place? This one. Ha ha, Bradley's dream came in fifth. That's because he poured all that extra vodka in Bradley, there. it was so Can strong. we get somebody who actually consumes alcohol? <laughs> Hater. I'm on You guys, it. again, when consuming alcohol, please, <laughs> please make sure you are over 21. No, this is a serious part, you guys. If you're consuming alcohol, please make sure you are over 21. If you are over 21 and you are consuming alcohol, please make sure to always drink responsibly. Do not operate motor vehicles under the influence. Be responsible, be safe. I hope you guys enjoy these summer cocktails. Remember, there's always a hater close by, sometimes <laughs> closer than you think. My drinks were the best. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.